Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Millionaire Gaming. So today we are playing Sean White Skateboarding for the Xbox 360. And before I get this video started, I actually wanted to tell you guys, I had to cut a lot of the video out because if I had uploaded it all together, it was about an hour and 20 minutes. So I had to cut it down to about 26 minutes. So I'm sorry if it's kind of short, it's kind of abridged. So, I apologize for that, but I hope you guys enjoy. So, we are actually on the semi-final episode of Sean White Skateboarding. So, yeah, I know it's been long awaited, but it's finally happening, and we're gonna find Sean today. You know, I also realized something. It's been about five months since we first started this video game. Five months. That We started in frickin' June or July. Roughly, I still cannot believe that. How long this game has took to get to this point. I guess it's because we had other games in between that we had to do, and besides that, I have work. And you know, just life happens, you know? So, I wonder what's gonna go on with this one. I know we got still the ministry shit going on. It's, uh, well, let's see where it now, takes us. Let's get the last the last batch of screens. Let's go get those screens, I guess. So apparently skateboarding is detrimental to my health. Alright, if you say so. I like how they have that Oakley sponsorship on the, uh, the billboards and stuff. And it says... What? What does the sign say? I couldn't read it because the thing went too quick. And I love, love this freaking the Savior uh, rails. Those are one of the best things to this game. You know what's kind of funny? Now that I think when they say skateboarding is detrimental to my health and stuff, and to the way of life, I think of like where I live. Like, back in the day, I know like when I was skating a lot, I was never able to like skate there. Because they said it was, like, a really bad risk to, like, people that, like, saying, if I get hurt, I could sue them. And I really never got hurt or anything. And when I did, I, it was just, like, a little scrape. So it didn't really bother me or anything. So, like, they always would be looking at me and talk to me saying, oh, I'm not allowed to skate. And then they said that this one specific area that we can skate was in the park. And the park had a basketball hoop, and it had a long, like, road stretch. Nothing good, though. Like, I couldn't even do shit on it. So, I was like, what's the point on trying to skate here if I can't do really anything? And it kind of bothered me. I don't know why. It just really just annoyed me. I know I also would, like, ride my skateboard when I was in, like, middle school. I used to ride my skateboard uh, home and to, like... Just it from to there and from home, so it was pretty cool. And I also used to ride my bike to school, so that was kind of cool as well. I'll have to tell you more on that one later. I have no idea how to get to that other screen. Like, I don't know why it's so fucking difficult, but it's just challenging as anything. Like, you would think, because I can grind up there, I don't know why it's so difficult. Like, just to find a freaking thing to grind or find the freaking TV, you know you can see them up from the, uh, the skyline, but you can't get up there without like using those stupid rails that they provide you with, or there's no like ramps, so you can go on there. So it's fucking stupid, in my opinion. It really, really is. And I kind of like how the flow is so high that it makes the freaking thing shake. Great. I forgot about when we respawn, we lose all of our flow. That is freaking fantastic. I am so fucking terrible at this, I swear to god.
Honestly, I don't know who that artist was that actually was singing that. All I know is they said shout it out. And it wasn't any well-known artist that I know of. I'm not sure, but I just wanted to be safe and sh make sure that there was no, like, copyright in case they want to, like, you know, flag my shit and stuff. So that's why I just turned the music off and then just showed you the whole clip on what was happening. Other than that, I don't think there's really that much going on on this game. Other than that, we gotta just travel a lot. And then I think, yeah, and then we're gonna meet Sean. Sean White, and then, then possibly the end. Which is probably the next episode. Which is the finale. I'm glad my flow is back at a good rate. So at least if, in case I have to do any spectacular tricks, so if I at least have the uh, thing and we got the helicopter again, we haven't seen that since it's a trap. Holy shit. Let's go. Time to give him hell, dude. Go get Sean and you can turn this place out like a dog that just shot all over the carpet. <laughs> I will never understand Bob's analogies. That was kind of weird, like a dog that shot all over the carpet. Honestly, that sounds fucking disgusting, and ugh, I don't know why, it just sounds fucking gross. And of course, we gotta hack the system yet again, cause this shit is fucking repetitive as anything. Alright, great. So I think we should cue some music for this, cause this shit's gonna get bothering. I can't remember if we had to do a ventilation thing before. I have a feeling it just seems so familiar. Like going through ventilation systems just to get to the area. And I was surprised that we got that first try. Holy shit. Oh boy. We gotta de influence all these machines. So, yeah, I don't know. This freaking part always bothered me. Like, I always hate getting these freaking de-influencers and machines and stuff. If you guys don't remember, this actually was the area when we were playing Sean. Like, I don't know why we were doing it for him. Like, all I know is it was just like one of those little filler things. We just played him and then just we, uh, we found his location, but we were never able to, like, just get our character to get to him, like, directly. So I never understood this part. But I do know these transfers, like these freaking spine transfers, were annoying as hell. Like, they annoyed the fuck out of me. Because they were so precise on how to do it. Like, holy crap. Those spine transfers and those loop-de-loops, those were the things that bothered the hell out of me when I was doing this on the Sean White part. Like, I don't know why. Like, I don't know, it seems like you have to be really precise, like... I don't know how to explain it, it's just annoying as anything. But I do enjoy, like, like the spine transfers and stuff. I do like doing the melons, those are pretty cool. There we go, finally, holy fuck, that took forever. But jeez, I have no idea why it takes so fucking long. I know that with this, like, they specifically make you want to do this stuff, I don't really get why, but they just want me to. So, how are you guys doing? I know this is an off-topic thing, and I know it's kind of late into the video to ask how you guys are doing, but I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing alright myself. I know I'm kind of getting annoyed by this, just freaking doing transfers the whole entire time, but I'm doing alright. Nothing new with me, but all I know is life is Alright, it's going alright, I'll be honest. I do know Christmas is coming soon, not really a big fan of that, but at least 
I know some people will be happy about things I got them and all that shenanigans. And I just, I per pretty much like Christmas because of, uh, like, I get to spend it time with my family and friends. Though I really can't do it now, just because, you know, uh, if you guys know, uh, my uncle and aunt have passed away a long time ago. August, it, like, this year of August, my aunt passed away, and then, like, three years ago in January, well, going on three years, my uncle had passed away, so... It's a bit of a rough time for me and my family, so, and then I have family up north, but I hardly get to see them, so it's definitely going to be a different kind of uh, Christmas this year, because it feels like probably be me and my mom mainly, and then, like, I remember, like, I would visit some of my friends, right, like, right before Christmas, so that might be something I might do again, I'm not sure though, so who knows, you know? About Christmas though I think I should talk about New Year's though like I know I'm I used to like New Year's when I was younger and I also liked it like to an extent when I was got getting older but I do know I don't I did not like my uh, New Year's when it was 2015 going into 2016 because it, it just really really sucked like I uh, I remember it pretty fondly I think it's a little story so I think I'll tell you after I get all these fucking things to be honest so hopefully we can get this done soon and then I can tell you what what happened Fuck, that took forever. Like, holy hell, that took longer than anticipated. I think that was like a good freaking 13 minutes. Like, at that time, when I had recorded this, it took like 13 minutes just to get that freaking one little thing. Like, that little insignificant thing. So that's what annoyed me. So, onto that little story I was trying to tell you guys. So, back in 2015, I had dated this girl for a couple months. I won't say her name because I try to keep their personal life and all that shit kind of personal, you know, I don't want them having their business out in the open and stuff. But I'll just tell, tell you, I was dating a girl for a little bit, and so I remember we had gone through a little, like, patch in our lives, like, where I would get depressed or she would get depressed. So it kind of sucked, you know, because depression always sucks. So, overall, our relationship was pretty good. I mean, I remember, like, we would call all the time and, like, talk to each other and stuff. But, during New Year's, we had gotten to a really bad fight. I don't even remember what was the fight about. I think it was something stupid, and then all I know is she ended up breaking up with me on New Year's Day. Like, it was the same day, and it just sucked. She broke up with me. And it turned out, like, not much later of our relationship, she had found another guy, which really pissed me off. Like, you know, I try to be friends with her, you know, I can't really do that now, you know, because, I don't know, guys can't really be friends with their exes, even though some people say they can. I personally don't think I can. So, she ended up finding a new guy, and so... They ended up being together for a really long time, and they just broke up recently. Looks like you're going to have to influence those scientists if you want to get through. Moral of the story. Pretty much, 
I don't like New Year's just because of that reason. Overall, I used to love it though. Like, I remember staying up a little later than usual when I was younger. And I would help my uncle, you know, get him alcohol. Technically, I would never buy it, but my mom and I would get it. And, you know, just have a good time. You know, talk, listen to music. I wouldn't really drink. Like, I had, like, two drinks one time. It was like a... I had a Jaeger bomb, and I know I had, like, some pineapple rum with c coconut. Which was pretty good. I don't really like coconuts, but just that was a really good time. I liked it. I actually have a, a good selfie with me and my uncle. My uncle never really liked taking photos, so I always cherish it. Hey, nice to see you. Uh, you're looking for Sean? Yeah, well, get over here. He's right down the hall behind this door. Uh, you guys have fun. We'll be working on some scientist stuff. Here you go. Uh, what kind of science stuff are you working on, you know? The invisibility potions, you know, stuff like that. Eh, probably not. I'm probably getting ahead of myself on that sort of thing. Now they're probably about talking about quantum physics or some shit like that. So that's, I mean, that's pretty cool if you guys are talking about quantum physics and shit like that. Not really my strong point, but, you know, you do you, I guess. Shit, shit, I, I did like a fucking roller coaster right here. Aw, oh, this is not good. Not good at all. I don't know. I feel like some of this shit actually kind of gets repetitive with these snake lines and shit. Kind of, it's kind of weird. I don't know why. Holy shit, I made that. All right, infiltrate the hallway. Oh boy, this is, this is gonna be fun. I don't know, man. When I did this shit, I was so annoyed because I had no idea what to do. Like. I know I have to grind this stuff, and I had no idea that you actually have to connect to the freaking rails and stuff to that. Like, I don't know why, it's just like, it was so difficult, like, legit, I was, uh, talking to my mom, because she, she usually goes to church on Sundays, and I was doing this on a Sunday, and I have off on Sunday as well, so... When I was doing this, I was getting so pissed off, so annoyed, like, just aggravated, just trying to get through the stupid area. Like, I don't even know why. It was just really stupid of me, just getting pissed off over the littlest of things. But that's what happens when you have anger issues. I mean, I know how to control it, but sometimes some things just piss me the fuck off. Like, continuously dying on a game. I will scream obscenities like an asshole. Like, I don't know why. But that's just me, because... I don't know, I just curse a lot. Because when I was younger, I never really cursed. So, I mean, I guess that's one thing. And plus, if I ever did, my mom would get fucking pissed. Or my grandma, if she heard it now, she'd probably be so mad at me. Probably I'd have so many belt marks on myself. Oh man, that would be terrible. Huh, that one was pretty simple. Now it's to the heart part. I was talking about when I said the heart part, this is the one. Getting Sean right there. This part is a killer. Like, it is annoying. I can't tell you how many times I had to like cut the video just so I can get this like under an hour. Like, I, it, it's so stupid because it makes me seem like I can't do video games well. But it's just this fucking challenge right here annoyed the hell out of me. Like, as you can tell, there was one skip right there and I do apologize for that and I try not to do that many skips or like edit it so hard because I try to do the game in, in in its entirety sometimes I do fast forward it just so it doesn't have like a lot of dead air because sometimes I do know when I do recordings I do have a lot of dead air 
Like, I'll be honest, I notice it sometimes, so I do apologize for it. But I hope I can actually, like, improve on that stuff, you know? Hopefully one day I can actually improve. Because sometimes my content, I, I even agree with myself, sometimes I do find my content being kind of stale. Like, I don't know. We are so close to meeting Sean White. Like, it's unbelievable how close we are. Like, you can actually smell the freaking snow off of him. That's a really terrible uh, freaking thing to say, but we're pretty fucking close to him, and I'm kind of glad that we're almost there. We're almost ready to meet him. If you don't know Almost Ready, it's, uh, it's a song from uh, Dinosaur Jr. Good artist. Not really uh, my type of music, but... It's uh, definitely a uh, cool indie group. I don't know, but oh boy, this this ought to be fun. I can't tell you how many times this actually kind of pissed me off that I like missed it. Like, all I have to do is drag to the specific green area to get to where I have to continue the grind. I I do wish this kind of stuff was in real life though, like. If I was younger, I feel like my imagination would be, like, awesome with this. So, it'd be pretty fucking cool. Almost there. Almost. We almost got it. Holy shit. Yeah, see, I fucked up on that one. If I didn't mess up, I feel like I could have made that in one shot. So, we have to redo that fucking shit yet again. Holy shit, it's the actual moment of truth. It's time for us to meet Sean. Sean White, the master of this freaking video game. The guy that we've been trying to save the whole entire time during this fucking game. And it's finally here and it's finally arrived. We are going to meet him for the first time. Why did that rhyme? I, I don't understand it. But, oh fuck me. Why, why did I do this? No, 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 this sucks. Alright, now this is actual moment of truth, where we actually meet Sean White. Alright, let's go meet Sean White, and we got our savior rails. So where is this guy? Alright, where is this guy? We gotta... Oh, oh my god, I really... I don't understand why it has to be so difficult on finding people. I don't know, like, comparing to some of the finds that we had to do, like, doing the ultimate, uh, things for with our flow, that shit fucking bothered me. And here we are. The hallways to meet him. The steps to meet him. And... for celebration, I'm afraid. The remaining Ministry forces are recharging those pylons in order to wipe out all of our influence. You've got to get downtown ASAP. Bob's waiting for you on the roof. 
All right, man. I think I'm going to leave it off here for now. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe. Dislike if you don't like Sean White for the Xbox 360. And we got Sean White finally. We finally got the man, the myth, the legend, Sean White. And we got another quest to do. But I'm going to leave it off for the next video. Level three, Flo. You will be able to influence that building, effectively stopping the first phase of the ministry's counterattack. Bob and Sean will be attempting the same at the See you guys in the next video. Sorry about that, but he interrupted me. So, see you guys in the video. Peace.